Hello everyone, welcome to BZAN 6356 and this lecture series on relational databases. Now, most of this course is going to be talking about non-relational databases. However, it's important that we have a foundational understanding of relational databases in order for the non-relational databases to make sense. So in this set of lectures, we're going to kind of quickly recap some of the core concepts about relational databases. And we're also going to introduce some more advanced concepts that go a little bit beyond what we would normally expect to find in a relational database course. And one of the things I hope we take away from this series of videos is a baseline for comparison so we can understand how non-relational or NoSQL or, or new SQL databases compare to our traditional relational databases. Now, in this, we're going to be using a great open source database called PostgreSQL or just Postgres. It's a very popular database management system with a very active developer community and a lot of extensions that enable us to do some pretty neat stuff. So we're going to see some of those extensions in our lab assignment. And also you'll find on the YouTube channel an optional video that walks you through installing Postgres in Amazon Relational Database Services. So this is not something that is required for the course. However, if you are interested in big data and cloud computing, which I hope most of you are, it could be a very beneficial experience. So I would encourage you to take a look at that. And there's another instructional video that will walk you through the installation and configuration of SQL Workbench, which is the SQL client that I'm going to be using for our lab exercises and assignments. You can use whatever SQL client you would like, but uh, that video is out there to kind of help you along if you'd like to use SQL Workbench. Now, one thing that I do want to emphasize before we get started is relational databases and SQL are not dead, okay? Uh, these are still very widely used, discussed, and actively developed, and all of the skills that you learned in your relational database management course are very valuable and, and there's a lot of demand for that. So you could build an entire career even today on relational databases. However, as we get into this world of big data and social data and mobile data and uh, data analytics and all these great things, uh, there are just some problems that are a little bit outside the scope of what a relational database can effectively do. However, there are a lot of business problems that a relational database is absolutely the correct answer. So we're not throwing away everything we've learned before. These are additional new tools to help us do new types of analysis. So really exciting stuff and I'm looking forward to getting into this content. So for the rest of the videos for this uh, relational database lecture series, in video 2.1, we're going to give just a brief overview of relational databases. We're going to cover pretty much all of the content at a very high level that we would cover in a normal relational database course. In video 2.2, we're going to get into some slightly more advanced relational database topics, what you might expect to see in a database two course. And then in video 2.3, we're going to look at some specific functionality within Postgres that allows us to do some really neat fuzzy search and comparison operations. So with that, let's go ahead and get started.